She's doing first, the No, first of all, I'm, no, I'm doing it to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, my behind's not that big. First, I start, I'm looking at you. Okay? <laughs> you and then I, turn, I start to okay. turn. Go Let's look at me. <laughs> and then it's all like this. And then it's like that. And then it's me going down all the And I get to touch you, too. And then I, and then I go back on the side. All right. I know that was a little scary, and I apologize, but I had to share it because apparently... Whoopi thought she could dance, and she was trying to do some kind of seductive dance to Sonny. Well, my stomach got a little in knots, but we're away from that now. But we have to talk about The View today because, of course, they have to put their two cents in about Tim Scott. Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina has announced that he's running for the presidency because he's tired tired of the woke left, tired of the Democrats, tired of Joe Biden destroying our country at every step he takes. Tim Scott is a black man. He's a conservative. And The View just can't understand it. How can a black man be a conservative? You're supposed to bow down to the woke left and let the Democrats take care of you. When we all know the Democrats don't take care of anyone but themselves, the congressman, the president, the vice president. It's all a smoke show. They do nothing for minorities. They do nothing for the alphabet people, although they say they do, and they support it only for votes. But here's Tim Scott's announcement that he made that he's jumping in the Republican race for the presidency. Joe Biden and the radical left are attacking every single rung of the ladder that helped me climb. And that's why I'm announcing today that I'm running for president of the United States of America. And he's absolutely right. Joe Biden and the woke left is doing everything. They are doing everything in their power to destroy the United States of America, to destroy the everyday American just trying to work and survive. Now, I don't know much about Tim Scott. I'm not going to pretend I do. And quite frankly, I don't know how he'll fare in a Republican primary with Trump. Nikki Haley, who I really don't think could have a chance. Mike Pence is said to be jumping in the race. Ron DeSantis, supposedly, he'll be making an announcement very soon. So I don't know how well Tim Scott will do, but anyone is better than Joe Biden. Even another Democrat, and I hate to say it, I know, but even another Democrat, who really might want to help our country would be better than Joe Biden. Joe Biden is a woke old man who has done nothing. I've said this a million times. He's done nothing for over almost three years but give away money and bankrupt the United States of America. And of course, Whoopi and Anna... And Farah and the other one, I don't even know her name. Big Red wasn't on this episode. It's unfortunate because I know how we love to see Big Red. But here's what they had to say about it. And quite frankly, they're just pushing the narrative of the left. They're making it sound like he's only doing it because he's a conservative. He wants to get in the race. But he's really not running as a black man because he's not really for the black people. One of the issues that Tim Scott um, has is that he seems to think because I made it, everyone can make it. Ignoring, again, 
the fact that he is the exception and not the rule. And until he is I, the rule, he has, then he can stop talking about systemic he's racism. Got Clarence he's, Thomas syndrome. But I do think yes. that he, he has championed policies mm. specific to help the black and brown community. The First Step Act, which many, I know a lot of liberals think it didn't go far enough, but it helped in the first year get 3,000 inmates released into rehabilitation programs. Those are all great. He was the champion of the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act, which I think was able... He was one but, of them. Yeah, he was, was listen, them, I don't take it... I, Look, he's done some good stuff, okay. But if you're running for president, you got to do more than that. Yeah. You have to represent us as a nation and then say, and as a black man, this is also how I feel. But you can't pretend that it's not there mm -hmm. and that it's not an issue for the people you're running, for the party you're running for. Mm -hmm. They are in part the problem. This cat down in, in oh. Florida, <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> black people know there's a problem in Florida. Yep. That's what I just wanted to say. To Mickey the Mouse knows there's a problem everybody, in Florida. <laughs> everybody knows. A problem. You know. So in a nutshell, what they're saying is, yeah, Tim Scott has done some good being a senator from South Carolina. He's done good for his constituents. He's done good as Republican in Congress. But what has he really done for the black people? Whoopi seems to think he needs to do a lot more. And I take that as he needs to bow down and turn woke in order to get the black vote. See, what they fail to understand is anyone can be conservative. Black, white, Asian, Latino, you name it, you can be a conservative. There's nothing wrong with being a conservative. But these people seem to think that everything has to revolve around minorities, alphabet people, and all the marginalized groups. And Whoopi doesn't think that Tim Scott is actually that person. And like Sonny said, just because he made it, he thinks everyone can make it. Now, haven't we all heard when we were kids that you can be whatever you want to be? Well, quite frankly... I never really grabbed a hold of that because I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's right to tell a kid that. There are certain things that certain people are not going to accomplish in their life no matter how hard they try. But you can try your best to become the best person. But because he apparently is not doing enough for black people, they don't think he's a good candidate and of course, because he's a Republican and he's a conservative. But then she said, that guy down in Florida, and we all know how Florida feels about black people. Well, if you don't know, the NAACP has issued a warning to black Americans, to Americans to stay out of Florida because Florida is becoming a, I quote, terrorist state with Ron DeSantis as governor. The president of the NAACP lives in Florida, I believe. I don't think he's moving. And who, where are they getting this information from that Florida is turning into a terrorist state against black people? The one thing that Ron DeSantis is trying to do is protect children from being mutilated by doctors that want to do these alphabet surgeries on children. Legislation has been passed to protect children. Once you're 18 and an adult, you can do whatever you want. People aren't happy with it. They've instituted the death penalty for anyone who rapes a child under a certain age. How dare you want to kill a pedophile? Because all these liberals, the left... They don't have a problem with it. After all, they want to call pedophiles maps, minor attracted persons. That's how sick these people think, okay? How dare you want to stop people from harming children? They say blocking these surgeries from being performed on children is going to hurt the children. I say that's nonsense. It's going to protect children from doing something that they don't understand and most likely will regret when they're older. And I don't know how Tim Scott feels about that. Quite frankly, I'm sure he's on board with not harming children. 
but you can't tell the woke view that anything good can come out of Tim Scott being president or Ron DeSantis because they just won't go along with it. If you don't bow down to the woke and give out everything for free and celebrate the alphabet people, you're bad. Blacks are not in danger in Florida as far as I'm concerned. I don't live there, but I have family that does live there. They've never heard of such a thing. Excuse me, that Florida is turning into a terrorist state. I've said this before, and I'll continue to say it. The view, they have to be being paid by the DNC or some liberal like Soros who wants to keep pushing this nonsense propaganda against anyone who's conservative. And I'm going to end with this. Anna Navarro said, oh, don't tell me how you know, bad it is for blacks in Florida. Anna Navarro lives in Florida. I haven't heard anything about her packing up her bags and moving away. No, because it's a free state. You can do what you want. You can live your life without all this woke bullshit being shoved down your throat. They do not hurt black people. They don't want to hurt black people. They want to take care of children from being harmed by the alphabet doctors who want to change them into something they can't be. And they don't want to have pedophiles just spend their lives in jail. They want to give them the death penalty. And I'm for the death penalty for certain crimes, especially a capital crime like murder. And I'm on board with giving the death penalty to someone who viciously rapes a child because that's what they deserve, okay? The left can hate it. The woke can hate it. The alphabets can hate it. Get over it. We are conservatives because we believe in living a free life like the Constitution gives us. The liberals, the Democrats, the woke don't want it that way. They want you to do what they say, and that's it. I, for one, am not going to do it, and I'm pretty sure you're not. And that's it. The view has got to go. They're definitely being funded by someone who keeps pushing this narrative and it's absolute garbage. And that's it again. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't liked this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. You'll never miss an episode. Share this video with someone. I'd appreciate that. Hope everybody's healthy and safe. I'll see you soon.